doing, everybody? After a long break, I am finally back for another edition of Poolside Cigar Reviews. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the CAO Sopranos edition. I've had this in my humidor for about six months, and I've been looking for an excuse to pull it out. Um, I actually bought this before James Gandolfini died. How about that? But, uh, big fan of the show. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of mixed reviews on CAO cigars. Some people like them, some people don't. They certainly make enough blends that if you try them all, I guarantee you'll find at least a few that you like. Uh, I like the Brasilia. I like the Italia. Uh, those are, you know, and I, I like the, uh, you know, when I first started smoking cigars, I was a big fan of the gold label and the, the black label. I haven't had either of those in a while. I should probably revisit those. But anyway, today we're talking about the CAO Sopranos. I believe this was uh, in the in the top 25 cigars of the year from Cigar Aficionado magazine back in 2005. That's got a Brazilian wrapper. The binder is a blend of uh, Nicaraguan, Honduran, and Colombian, maybe, uh, filler. And then I think it has a Dominican binder. I think that's correct. You can, If you really care about such things, look it up for yourself. Because um, I might be wrong on that. But... Uh, but that's what the old noggin thinks right now. So this is the the associate size or vitola. They also make um, ah, they make a couple others. I don't know. There's the boss. There's the Tony Soprano edition. But this is the associate. You know, they're all based on mafia ranks, I suppose. I don't know. But uh, you know, not not the best looking wrapper I've ever seen. Kind of splotchy. Um, not in a good way. You know, some of those, like, Modafina wrappers, they have, like, nice black streaks through them. This, this is just more splotchy. Um, a few veins. It's got a solid double cap on it. Bands are very loose. But, it smells very nice. It's actually, oh, how about that inside on the foot band? There's some writing on here. What does that say? Tearing it all to pieces, of course. Uh, HBO, all rights reserved. Sopranos, the service mark of HBO Inc. So, it's official. They're not, uh, they're not ripping anybody off here. CAO paid to use the name, I'm sure. I'm actually curious if this uh, it smells very nice. I'd be curious to see how this compares to the uh, CAO Brasilia, because I'm a big fan of the Brasilia. And these both have Brazilian wrappers. I actually just smoked a Brasilia yesterday. <laughs> On the way home from work in my wife's car. Shh, don't tell anybody. She'll figure out soon enough. Perfect draw. I don't get much out of the pre-light draw. Everybody likes to do the pre-light draw. I get the same flavor almost all the time. It's either, I either get nothing, or I get just like a sweet raisiny tobacco. I got sweet raisiny tobacco today, which I, is a good thing. So we'll get this lit up. It smells very nice. Hopefully everybody had a wonderful Christmas. I do apologize for not doing a full review for a very long time. Going on probably the two month mark. I'll try to do more videos. Lots of smoke off the first light. Baker's Cocoa. No sweetness. A um, little bit of wood coming in. Very long finish. Really deep flavors. Some earth. Earth and definitely coming through. All right. Very nice. Maybe a hint of leather. 
no spice. Um, but yeah, definitely some Baker's Cocoa and Earth, I think, are the dominant flavors off the first flight. So I will soldier on here and uh, let you know what else we get out of this. So, so far it, it is quite similar to the Brasilia, but it's just the first light. So we got a long way to go, and I will keep you informed. See you in a minute. So I'm about 25 minutes in now. You can see the ash is holding on strong. I am going to knock it off because I don't want it in my lap. Came off nicely. Uh, the flavors are really nicely uh, melded together. It's got uh, pretty much the same flavors that I had in the first uh, in the first light. They've just kind of managed to linger on. The cocoa has kind of died off a bit. Uh, there's some good earth and leather in there. It's actually a very tasty cigar. I'm really enjoying it. Um, hmm. I mean, it's really, it's kind of hard to pin down the flavors on this one, actually. Uh, but it's really delicious. It's got uh, a decently long finish. Certainly nothing harsh about it at all. I would say it's a medium body. I don't feel any strength at all. I would say... I would compare it to a CAO Brasilia if you had that, but this is a little bit smoother and a little bit mellower. Uh, I, I actually I like the Brasilia, but I actually prefer this. Uh, this is a nice cigar. I don't know how much that has to do with age. Uh, I did buy this. Uh, the store that I bought this from, I think, has had these for a long time. Probably, like most stores, the, these CAO Sopranos just weren't that popular. If you've ever seen the boxes, they look like the trunk of a car. You know, the CAO has a lot of gimmicky boxes like that. They're not quite as bad as Gurkha, but uh, but they do have a lot of gimmicky boxes. So, I'm going to say this was in Jerry's Humidor uh, for Jerry's Cigars in Tucson for, I mean, I would say at least three or four years. And then it was in my Humidor for about six months, maybe longer. I don't know how long it's been in there. But it is a well-aged cigar, and it was well taken care of. It's burning fantastically. The the ash is super bright white. Uh, I know a lot of people care about that. I've never noticed any correlation at all between ash color and flavor. I've smoked some really nice cigars that have had dark ash, and I've smoked some really crappy cigars that have bright white ash, uh, and vice versa. So, uh, you know, I've heard a lot of people talk about, oh, yeah, nice bright white ash means it's really good quality tobacco. <laughs> Maybe I don't know, but that's just a uh, from my experience, I don't see any correlation, so I don't pay attention to that. But for those that do, you can note that this has a nice, bright, white ash. Tons of smoke. Great draw. I haven't had any huge transitions. Maybe a little bit of sweetness picking up now. Um, you know, a little, little bit of wood. A nice uh, earth and tobacco core. But overall, it's just it's a very... Pleasant, medium-bodied cigar. It's got more than enough flavor to keep you interested. So, even if you're into full-bodied cigars, I think you'll still like this. Uh, it's not. It's not boring. It does have some some relatively assertive flavors, but n nothing. Again, nothing at all harsh. I think. I think this cigar would appeal to most cigar smokers. So, I'll come back with my final thoughts on the Cao Sopranos Associate. This was a. Uh, 5 by 52 I don't know if I told you that in the first video, but uh, but that's what we have. I am very, uh, very impressed. I like this cigar a lot. I think you can pick up boxes for online, $110 range maybe, so really not that expensive. Uh, but anyway, I'll be back with my final thoughts, let you know what else we get. I will see you in a minute. So I'm a little over 50 minutes in, down to about my last inch here. I'll be putting this down in a minute. Although the construction has just stayed fantastic. It's just perfect. It's really not warm. I could smoke another half inch off this. and Maybe I will. I don't know. But uh, burned perfectly the whole time. Been very impressed with this cigar. I think I paid maybe 
eight or nine bucks for this at the store, but like I said, if you look online, you can get boxes for about $110. Really delicious. Uh, I would say the body is picked up a bit here towards the end. Still, still not harsh. Uh, doesn't linger or build up on the palate. Finishes fairly cleanly. Uh, I was pairing this mostly with sparkling water, which I really enjoy with cigars. I, I was for the longest time just drinking straight, like just straight water from, uh, you know, filtered water from my refrigerator. But I, I've been drinking. I'll show you what it is. <laughs> just this Kroger brand sparkling seltzer water. It's a lot cheaper than. Uh, like Pellegrino or uh, Perrier, I would compare this to Perrier. I think I think it, to me, it tastes a lot like Perrier. Pellegrino I think has finer bubbles, and I actually prefer Pellegrino. But I get a 12 pack of this for 250, and that's pretty cheap, and it's better for you than soda. And if you start drinking sparkling water, I I started drinking not that long ago, maybe a couple of years ago, I started drinking sparkling water. I always thought it was gross. Uh, and then I think I was out at a nice Italian restaurant, maybe in, I was in San Diego or where I was, but I had sparkling water. And it really, just because of the atmosphere, I just went with it and I drank it and I really enjoyed it. So I encourage you, give sparkling water a try. And not many people drink it, but I find it very refreshing. It pairs great with a cigar. It pairs great with like a heavy meal. Uh, it just, it has that nice mouth feel without being distracting from, what, from whatever else you're drinking or enjoying. It's refreshing. That's uh, awesome on a hot day. Grab a can before you hop in the car or something like that. I, it's my go-to beverage. So check out Sparkling Water. Maybe just a slight hint of spice here at the end. For the most part, just a, a very well-balanced cigar. Can't say enough good things. Great cigar. If you haven't had a CEO Supreme, I def definitely recommend you trying one. And I did switch at the end here to scotch I finally found a bottle of Lagavulin 16 this is a great great Isla single malt uh, you know, it's uh, eight, obviously it's aged 16 years and it is just smoothed out completely they they just I really normally I don't pay attention to how uh, you know, uh, product labels, what they describe, but at, at the bottom it says, takes out the fire but leaves in the warmth. And I think that's the perfect description for Lagavulin. It's, it's the, the, uh, it's not heavy on the, it doesn't have that, you know, new spirit taste to it, that, that alcohol burn, and that it's, it's, uh, it's just a nice warm, it's not overly peated for an Isla Scotch, it's not like an art bag, um, with all the with all the peat, it's not a peat monster, but it does have a, a fair amount. And uh, boy, it's just it's just fantastic, fantastic scotch. So if you like if you like single malts, if you like Isla Isla scotches, uh, give Lagavulin a try. You may, if you can find a bar that serves it, want to try a, a single dram before you buy a bottle because they are very very expensive, ungodly expensive. It's like 80 bucks a bottle. So you drink very sparingly and enjoy what you have. But, uh, you know, maybe a good idea with, with whiskey, if you can find a couple guys who also like scotch and cigars or if they just like scotch, it's not a bad idea to go in. And, you know, if you have four people, you can each throw in 20 bucks. Then it's not that big a deal. You all get to try the scotch. You know, you can split it up over a couple weekends, come on over, we'll sit around, sip some scotch, have some cigars. It's a good way to try your more expensive scotches. Share with a friend. It's always more fun to drink with a friend anyway. So, I recommend, uh, if you have the means, and you like Isla Whiskey, grab grab some Lagavulin. I'd like to do a full review on this sometime, I won't do it today. Mm. That is a slice of heaven. Wow. Talk about balance. That is the perfect balance between like vanilla and maybe some floral notes, peat, 
it all just lives together in that bottle and oh it does some good things in your tummy Anyway, I'd like to thank you guys very much for stopping by. You know, I, I, it's been a long time since I've done a review, and I will be back into it. So, look forward to more in the future. You know, I always appreciate you stopping by the backyard and hanging out with me. Uh, you know, please like, subscribe, leave a comment. I'd love to hear from you guys. If you message me, I'll message you back. And, uh... Hopefully you have some time this week that you can sit down and enjoy a, a favorite beverage and, and a cigar and just uh, be thankful for everything that you have. I know that's uh, that's what I like to do. Anyway, I'll leave you with that and, uh, and my ongoing recommendation to keep your feet in the pool, a drink in your hand, and a cigar in your mouth. Have a great week, everybody.